What's going on, gang? Welcome back into Lights Out Gaming. For those of you that are new here, my name is Mike, and what you are watching today is the Lights Out Gun Review. I have done quite a few of these. These are all based on your input. Basically, what I ask of you is I say, hey, what gun do you have? What gun do I have that I can cover? And I'm going to tell you how to use it, what are the best attachments, things like that. So, this week, what we're covering is the ARX Steel Bite. Now, the reason I'm covering the Steel Bite today is because it was requested, um, my lovely daughter, Alyssa, she uh, was cleaning up down in the office here, and uh, she went through some papers, and a lot of my papers that I had kept, including the one that had all the guns that were requested by who they were requested by, unfortunately, I have no idea where she put that, and I hope she didn't throw it away, but, so I do apologize, but whoever requested the ARX-160, Steel Bite, this is for you. Thank you for requesting it. This was the next most requested gun. So basically what I'm going to do next week, I'm just going to start afresh. I'm going to say whoever has the most requested gun, I'm going to cover that one next week. But today, we're going to do the Steel Bite. So thank you guys for requesting it. Let's take a look at how this gun looks on paper. Now, the, the positive of this gun is that it comes with a plus three in damage. So that's pretty big. I'm going to get into that more a little bit um, about why it's not as significant as you might think. Now, it is a good gun. Don't get me wrong. Uh, if you get all your shots on, most of the time you should get that kill. But that's, that's one of my issues with this gun is the consistency. So the plus three in damage, but it does have a minus two in accuracy, which isn't a huge thing just because it's a burst rifle. And it when you throw a red dot on there, it doesn't really you know, matter so much. So the accuracy isn't my biggest concern. The worst part about this gun, in my opinion, is the other negative it has. The negative one fire rate. That's really big to me because it's gonna slow down, you know, how fast you can pull that trigger. And that's why there's another gun, actually another variant of the ARX-160 that is actually better. And it's a professional variant. If you have it, it's called the Hole Puncher. It's actually a better gun, in my opinion, than the Steel Bite. Now everything else remains the same on the gun, the range, the handling, and the mobility. So we don't need to cover anything really on that. Now the gun does come with 45 bullets in a magazine, which is big. Because, I mean, all ARX 160s do now. But the, the nice part about it is that it comes with all those bullets because of a patch that they made in the game. They actually added in. I believe this used to come with... It was, I think it was 30. I think it was 30 bullets per magazine, and that's a pretty significant increase. It's basically like it comes with free extended mags. So that's the nice part about the gun. But I want to talk about my first impressions of this gun when using it in-game. Now, the ARX is a burst assault rifle, obviously. There is no option for select fire in Advanced Warfare, so it you are required to have an accurate shot in order to use guns like this in the game. Now, my first initial impression of this gun is that it has, it's very inconsistent. It, it seems to lack a consistency of one burst kills. Now, what I mean by that is that, you know, I might feel like I land all three bullets and that they should have died, and then I go only stop shooting, only to realize that I have not killed them, and sometimes it'll lead to my death. That's not something you want out of an assault rifle. You shouldn't feel like, you know, that you got the kill. You, you typically know how many bullets it takes to kill. Now, sometimes it can be connection issues, but, you know, my connection that I have in my internet is, is pretty good. I, I pay for some of the best internet that I can get in my area, so I don't feel like it's necessarily... I, it might be even worse for you, but there's times where you'll be like, wow, it was melted. I mean, I don't know if it's the hit detection issues, but the thing is, the hit detection in this game, it seems like it's been really well. Compared to going back and playing some of the older games that I did, you know, like Black Ops 2, Black Ops 1, the hit detection feels a lot better in this than it did in that. So, basically, we're going to start and go over kind of the attachments to use on this gun. The attachments that I feel are necessary on this gun, the first one being a stock. Now, you'll notice the way I use this gun in the gameplay, I go back and forth a lot. Because if you're burst firing, especially in this game with how you know, how people move around so much, you're going to need to be moving too, otherwise you're just a sitting duck trying to land, you know, two bursts from your assault rifle into them. So, a stock is necessary to go side to side and aim down sights quite a bit, you know. 
that is a necessity. Now, some people use the iron sights in this gun, I cannot. When I'm using a burst gun, I want to be as accurate as possible. And that leads me into my second attachment, which is the red dot sight. You could use something like the hybrid, the autofocus, the target enhancer, you could use any of them basically. And that's especially true with this gun, because we already talked about the fact that it's got a negative 2 in accuracy, so we're going to need to be as accurate as possible. So that's why I say we definitely want to use a red dot sight, we definitely want to use a stock. And that leads me to the last attachment. We're going to be using the quick draw. The quick draw, because, like I said, it's a burst assault rifle, so if you draw, pull that gun up and you aim down sights extremely fast and get that burst, you're going to win the gunfight every single time. It's not, it doesn't matter if you're against a BAL, doesn't matter if you're against an ASM-1, you're going to get the kill because you landed your burst and you were the first to pull up your gun. The reason that I, I use that is because if I go ahead and I look at the other attachments on the gun, laser sight, not going to use that, the foregrip, not really necessary because we're using a red dot. You don't need a red dot and a grip. A suppressor, definitely don't want to do that because it's just going to take more bullets to kill and that's something that we do not want with a burst rifle. Parabolic mi microphone, not going to touch it. Dual magazine, not going to touch it. Grenade launcher, not going to touch it. Extended mags, I told you this gun already comes with 45 bullets so there's not really a there's no need for extended mags. I usually do like them on most guns but this one, it doesn't need it. So, the, the attachments for me, the red dot, the stock, and the quick draw. And that, my friends, is a good gun. I'm not going to say that it's a great one. I feel like this gun is more... I'd give this one probably a 7. 7.5, seven maybe. You know, I'm going to stick with 7. I'm going to go with 7 out of 10. Simply because there's just, there's just too many flaws. A burst rifle is already at a disadvantage in this game. Just because of all the movements and things like that. It's hard. I feel like you need 3 attachments in this gun in order to make it a pretty good gun. So that's another negative. I feel like there's none of those attachments that I can remove and be o and still be okay with using this gun against good competition. Um, and the fact that it's inconsistent. So the best way to use this gun is to be an all-around player, to be honest. Because you're going to be using the stock, so you're going to be able to get on objectives. So you wouldn't, don't necessarily have to post up. You're going to be moving side to side. Use it moving side to side. That's my biggest tip I can give on this gun, is that you want to consistently be moving so you're not a sitting duck with a burst assault rifle. But you can still play around the map, your movement speed's not too bad with an assault rifle. Like I said, 7 out of 10, decent gun, but the professional variant, a hole puncher, is a better gun. So if you have that one, don't throw it away, use it, it's better than this variant. But yeah, go ahead and let me know in the comment section below what gun you'd like covered next week, and the one that receives the most likes will be covered. Don't forget to hit that like button, comment, and subscribe, guys. But until next time, lights out.